Hi, my name is Sean Lee. I'm a technology reporter with the Los Angeles Times. And this week I've been working on a story about augmented reality, which is a really clunky term for essentially any technology that overlays a digital photo or video or text on top of what's going on in real time now. If you're a football fan, you've probably seen it during televised games where they it looks like they paint the first down line, usually in yellow, on the field, and they don't actually paint it, of course. It's computer generated, and that is augmented reality. Some of the more exciting applications are coming out on smartphones and tablet computers. For example, you can download one of the apps, fire it up, point your smartphone at a building, and it will show you if there are any vacancies there, um, you know, and how much it is for rent. On another app, if you're lost in New York, for example, you can pull it out, stop at a city intersection, and overlaid on your smartphone, it will show you the nearest subway stops. One of my personal favorites is an app put out by the Museum of London in London called Street Museum, where they overlay historical photos or paintings on top of real life on your smartphone. One of them, for example, is a building collapsing after an air raid during World War II. You go to Queen Street in London, you pull up the phone, and it will overlay that building, the photo of the building collapsing, on top of where it happened.